Ever since early man popped into existence, we have spent a large amount of our lives looking to the stars for information and guidance. The constellations have helped to carve out pathways for travel, the phases of the moon have helped us with the development of seasons and agriculture, and the sun has benefited us all with the only source of energy we would ever need. Every year, scientists and researchers make new discoveries out in the cosmos, and it's fair to say they do a great job at unravelling some of the mysteries our universe has presented. However, every so often they make a discovery that stumps them. This is the case for a recent discovery that was made while looking through astronomical data. Scientists have announced that a comparative analysis of data showed researchers that something massive happened out in space. Researchers discovered that over 100 star-like objects have vanished from space. This, of course, caused much confusion and caused researchers to study the data immediately. Strangely enough, the team studying the finding weren't able to come to a logical conclusion. In fact, these mysterious objects were even observed giving off bright lights, saying that some of them were seen to become over 1,000 times brighter than before, and then suddenly going back to normal before flaring up again. When the news broke, this caught the attention of many people. Not so much because of what was happening, but due to the fact that researchers admitted it could have been extraterrestrial lasers. They suggested that these bright lights could have been used as some sort of communication, and because they were being turned off so quickly, could be proof of advanced life using them in some way. The scientists have said that no suitable explanations have been put forward to explain the lights and that they don't want to rule out the possibility of extraterrestrials. Interestingly, the researchers have said the objects start as a white or reddish colour. Then over time, they start to flicker and increase massively in size. Then all of a sudden, they vanish. Some of which return shortly after, whereas others don't come back for several days. As you can imagine, this news has made its way around social media. However, one thing people are asking is what are these things? Researchers from Stockholm University and the Institute of Astrophysics said that these anomalies are most likely red transients or luminous red novas. But they are most commonly known as vanishing stars due to them literally disappearing from the sky. One of the reasons they were detected was because of the vanishing and appearing sources during a century of observations. This is a project that's helped to identify many things out in space. This was first established back in 2017. The study has shown researchers that out of over 600 million objects, researchers discovered that over 150,000 objects weren't represented in the modern catalogues, and that at least 100 of these objects couldn't be explained causing scientists to look for more out there theories. According to the researchers, they have said that a follow-up study will be happening to try and explain why these objects suddenly vanished. Various theories have been put forward, but none of these have been able to explain the mystery. With scientists mentioning aliens, it's caused many people to be interested in this bizarre phenomenon. This isn't the only recent discovery that's been made out in the vastness of space. One place that's grabbed the attention of scientists and space agencies is that of the TRAPPIST system. Discovered within the TRAPPIST-1 system that made headlines from all around the world, TRAPPIST-1d was one of the many exoplanets found orbiting a star very similar in heat and size to our own Sun that led many research scientists to believe that many of the planets orbiting around the Sun to be Earth-like habitable planets and ideal for future colonization of our solar system. The most exciting prospect of this discovery was not only the planets, however, but rather the distance the system is from our own solar system, being only a mere 39.6 light years away from us, making it an interstellar neighbour with a much easier point of access. In fact, previous efforts in developments of space technologies, such as that of the Orion nuclear powered spacecraft, could see the journey to the TRAPPIST 1 system met in as little as one generation of passengers and accomplished in a short 60 years. This very well means that efforts could be started right now to begin interstellar colonization with current space technologies without any added stress of developments already being performed. The TRAPPIST-1D planet orbits around the Sun-like star of the TRAPPIST system also appears to be cooler than that of our own Earth and far richer in composition of precious metals, a rocky surface, a low gravity for easy takeoff 
and an atmosphere filled with dense water vapour for colonisation efforts. However, given the planet's size, mass and density, it is theorised to have a weak electromagnetic field which would not help to shield colonisation efforts from damaging cosmic radiation. Similarly seen on our neighbouring planet Mars. But even if the planet turns out to be incompatible with future colonisation efforts once the passengers arrive at their destination, there is a possibility that it could be cannibalised for resources to build megastructure bases capable of supporting human life and assisting in the efforts of terraforming and colonising the other neighbouring planets. The closest neighbour to the TRAPPIST-1D planet, TRAPPIST-1C, is the best candidate for future human colonisation efforts that requires next to no additional research developments in the realm of colonisation. The short distance of the interstellar neighbour, along with all the raw resources that can be gathered by the neighbouring planet, is only the first bullet point as to why TRAPPIST-1C is a prime candidate for colonisation. Back in 2016, researchers have found that the planet has a temperature that is very similar to Earth with a maximum surface temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature similarly seen in areas on Earth such as Death Valley. Additionally, TRAPPIST-1C has a gravitational force that is 97% equal to that of Earth's gravitational forces, making it habitable for long-term endeavours without risk to the health and wellness of colonisers, as well as a mass large enough to support a strong electromagnetic field that can shield colonisers from deadly cosmic radiation. This makes it a prime environment worthy of colonisation efforts, as the size, atmosphere, electromagnetic field and mass of the planet seem to be an almost perfect mirroring of our very own planet. Although researchers have worked for many hours trying to unravel the mysteries of the universe, some of them have left our best researchers wondering their true nature. This is the case of something that was detected deep in the vastness of space. Researchers have described it as some strange, anomalous, mysterious object that continues to throw extremely large blasts of radio waves out from around it in all directions, travelling at the speed of light. Fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short, have always been a mystery for astronomers and scientists in the field trying to understand the strange nature of the cosmos. But this new finding might help to shed light on what might be causing these strange signals. When astronomers turned their attention to the possible source of these FRBs, they discovered an area with an extremely strong magnetic field suggesting that the FRBs come from an unexplained object that exists in a very intense galactic environment containing an extremely strong magnetic source. Scientists are still trying to understand what could be causing this extreme magnetic source and not many theories have arisen since its discovery back in January of 2018. The lead researcher on the matter, Emily Petrov, working out of the Netherlands Institute for Radio Astronomy, claimed that researchers are directly probing the local environment of a source in a distant galaxy said to be responsible for this matter more than 3.8 billion light-years away. The current theory of the cause is said to be that of a supermassive black hole that might be affected by a nearby entity causing the source of the magnetism, though any additional information is completely unclear on the matter. Still, it appears the team is hard at work attempting to gather as much information as they can and the research group is confident that in a few years more creative theories will emerge to help explain this strange radio anomaly coming from deep space and what it could mean for the extreme local galactic environment. However, as of today, they haven't been able to explain these mysterious large radio bursts. Various scientists, researchers and even amateur astronomers have given their theories, but none of these fully explain the fast radio bursts and what's causing them. It's obvious that with the advancement of our industries and technology, we will see only more and more scientific discoveries made within our lifetime. But what do you think of these recent space discoveries made by space agencies across the globe? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.